generations of the fall. The Lord is the strength of his people, a saving refuge for the one he has anointed. Save your people, Lord, and bless your heritage, and govern them forever. Son, out of the Holy Spirit, grace you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. By confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have made a sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done. And what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, Lord, have mercy. Praise God. Christ, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Pray the Lord that we may always revere the love and lady. Pray never deprive of your guidance those who set firm on the foundation of your love. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Kings. Jehoiakim was 18 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned three months in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Nehutsa, daughter of the Lathan of Jerusalem. He did evil in the sight of the Lord, just as his forebears had done. At the time, the officials of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, attacked Jerusalem, and the city came under siege. Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, himself arrived in the city, while his servants were besieging him. Jehoiakim, king of Judah, together with his mother, his ministers, officers, and functionaries, surrendered to the king of Babylon, who in the eighth year of his reign took him captive, and he carried off all the treasures of the temple of the Lord and those of the palace and broke out all the gold utensils that Solomon, king of Israel, had provided in the temple of the Lord, as the Lord had foretold. He deported all Jerusalem, all the officers and men of the army, ten thousand in number, and all the craftsmen and smiths. None were left among the people of the land except the poor. He deported Jehoiakim to Babylon, and also a captive from Jerusalem to Babylon, the king's mother and wives, his functionaries, and a chief man of the land. The king of Babylon also a captive to Babylon, all seven thousand men of the army, and a thousand craftsmen and smiths, all of them trained soldiers. In a place of Jehoiakim, the king of Babylon appointed his uncle Mataniah, King and change his name to Zedekiah. The word of the Lord. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. You, O Lord, deliver us. O God, the nations have come into your inheritance. They have defiled your holy temple. They have laid Jerusalem in ruins. They have given the corpses of your servants as food for the birds of heaven, the flesh of your faithful ones to the beasts of the earth. For the glory of the name, O Lord, deliver us. They have poured out their blood like water round about Jerusalem, and there is no one to bury them. We have become the reproach of our neighbors, the scorn and the vision of those around us. The glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. O Lord, how long will you be angry forever? Will your jealousy burn the wine? Remember not against us the iniquities of the past, 
where compassion people come to us for what they are alone. For the glory of your name, O oh Lord, deliver us. Help us, O oh God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. Prayers that are worthy of its giving. 
for the church, the body of Christ, and the Lord's call to a deeper conversion, bearing fruit up in all our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government officials, may the Lord guide their decision making in accordance with the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. All women displaced from their homes due to war, violence, or boots or scarcity. May the Lord give them hope and safe haven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. All members of our great community, may the Lord help us continue to grow in charity and hospitality. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, may the Father welcome them into the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Conditions of your church, the Lord, and pleasing in your sight, Lord, so that we may receive from your mercy what we cannot ask out of the confidence in our own merits. For Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, our whole creation, for fear goodness we have received the grand meal for you. Throw the earth and the water through the heavens, who will become for us the bread of life. Destroy you, Lord, our whole creation. For forgiveness, we have received the wine we offer you. Lord, divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual training. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the praise and glory of His name, for our good of the Lord, His holy church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of consolation and praise, and grant that the plans by its action will be made offering of a heart pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, it's also for him with great goodness to form and anew. And so it's right that all your creatures serve you, all the we and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we do extol you with all the angels as a joyful celebration. We acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the flower of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the speech we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the beautiful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave thanks broken, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and was for giving things. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let 
the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death the Lord until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us for feet to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ that we may be gathered with one by the Holy Spirit Remember, Lord, your church and for all the world to bring her to the fullness of turning. Together with Francis, our Pope, Richard, our Apostolic Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy upon us all, we pray. And of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, who was the chosen for her spouse. To bless the apostles and all the saints who have pleased you for all the ages, who be married to co hers to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. For him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit of glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At a Savior's command, formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the law. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, gracious and great peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, in the name of power and the glory of the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, we set your apostles, we say we you, my peace I give you, and not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious you render peace and unity in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of God's peace.
Let us pray. When you and there is by a sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask for your mercy, O Lord, that we celebrate with constant devotion, may be our own sure pledge of redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lord be with you. I may wait and bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'm not so good as a little page of love and for our Lord. Thanks be to God. Say, my call to your angel, defend us in battle, give our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke you, we humbly pray, and thou, the Prince of the Heavenly Wars, by the power of God, thrust in hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the root of souls. Amen.